How's it going, Bulldog fans? It's your favorite player that just wants to bump some sunflower seeds and gum, Bailey Pulliam. And I know I'm a bit late for this episode. I like to pump these out on Monday mornings or Monday afternoons. I am a bit late. I got caught up with some stuff. But anyways, Mississippi State, back home this past weekend, playing against the Quinnipiac Bobcats. But before we get into that, the bigger story going into this weekend was that JT Ginn is officially out for the year. He had elbow surgery and is officially done for the season. There's no official word on whether that surgery was Tommy John surgery or not, so we're just going to leave it at an elbow surgery. Also, Tanner Allen is out indefinitely. He had surgery on his hand from an injury that I was told he sustained at Long Beach State during, I believe, the Sunday game. Um, I think the indefinite term there just means they're going to watch his rehab and the staff is going to keep an eye on it and whenever they think he's good to go they're going to try to fill him back into the rotation in the lineup but back to quinnipiac the dogs do sweep the series by scores of five to one five to four and eight to four respectively and i think this is a good thing to see the bobcats are a one-win team so far this year and the dogs really needed to bounce back after the long beach state series christian mcleod he finally moves up to the number one role. He gets a start for game one, and he is absolutely lights out. He ends up going six innings. He only gives up two hits and one walk. He has 12 strikeouts. The guy looks like he's the real deal. Um, I, ha I had my skepticisms at the beginning of the season, but he's, he's definitely outperforming all of my expectations, and he looks great on the mound. He looks comfortable. He's doing well. Other notables on Friday, Josh Hatcher has a two-run home run. Jordan Westberg has a solo home run. Uh, Kessler does come in to throw two innings of relief, uh, and he only gives up one run on one hit and one strikeout. And overall, I think the dogs look really good. The pitching was great. They only allowed three hits on the day. And at the plate, the Bulldogs only struck out four times as a team, which is really great to see considering some of their past performances. Now on to game two. Will Bednar receives the start. He's going to be the number two guy, at least for this past weekend. He ends up going five and a third innings. He only gives up one run on two hits and two walks. He has eight strikeouts. I think it's really great to see that he's not only good at long relief, but if we need him to fill in and play that starting role, he seems to do, I mean, if this past weekend is any indication, he can do that really, really well. This game was a lot closer. Uh, the Bulldogs ended up needing a walk-off single by Josh Hatcher to pull out the 5-4 victory in the bottom of the ninth. Notables at the plate were Josh Hatcher. He ends up going three for five with a double. He has two runs and an RBI. Bosque ends up going two for four with an RBI. And then Cameron James goes two for four with a solo home run. At the bump, Landon Sims picks up the win after going three innings in relief. He only allows one walk, and he has five strikeouts. So the pitching staff seem to be pretty on, at least for these first two games. This game was the prettiest, but at the end of the day, a win's a win, and the Bulldogs will take it. On to game three, and as we've come to expect, Sarantola is going to be our number three guy. He is the call to the bump. He does only go three innings. He gives up three runs on four hits and one walk. He does have four strikeouts. He just seemed to have a little bit of a control issue, I think. Uh, he did spike a few breaking balls that ended up getting away from Logan Tanner, and that allowed some runners to advance at times. Uh, Dunlavey does come in in relief. He ends up going three innings and has three strikeouts, and he doesn't allow a single base runner. And uh, he looked really solid and really comfortable in that long relief role as we've seen him before. Bulldogs get it done at the plate on Sunday, and they were hitting the ball hard all day long. It's finally starting to look like baseball weather. It was a little bit warmer. The sun was shining, and the bats were hot. Jordan Westberg and Cameron James each had a double. Josh Hatcher had a triple, and then Logan Tanner added a solo home run. And that home run was part of a five-run fourth inning that really just blew it open for the Bulldogs, and they were able to take game three and ultimately the sweep. A pair of midweek games wait for the Bulldogs this week, and those these are the last two midweek games before SEC play. These Both of these games are against Texas Tech, and they will be played at MGM Park in Biloxi, Mississippi, at the Biloxi Shuckers Minor League Stadium. Uh, this is going to be a true test. We'll see uh, what uh, what we're looking at here before we open SEC play by playing host to Arkansas this upcoming weekend. That's going to do it for me. Appreciate you guys listening. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace.